Friday is just a few days away, and the Nationals have a doorbuster offer for you. Half price tickets starting at 6 a.m. this Friday while supplies last. Go to nationals.com slash doorbuster. You don't have to get out of your house for a Black Friday deal. That's a great deal. How good Sting is. Now, is this Brandon yes, Lang? Is this Brandon know. Lang's walk up? No. Sorry, we're doing uh just doing some scrambling behind the scenes. Oh, okay. A lot of scrambling for Valbees today. Yeah. Well, Brandon, we have to get you a walk up song, my friend, since you've uh you're now a regular guest here the last few weeks. Welcome well, ba- welcome back, bro. We gotta get you your own walk up song. Well, I don't need that. I'm I'm coming in I'm coming in to cook you guys waffles. My grandma's homemade waffles in a couple of weeks. So uh Hold on, you're coming in here? Back. Yeah, he yeah, sent me a text. In there yeah. I'm butt sized for that. Iron. He's gonna I'm be in. in with my my grandma's homemade recipe for you guys. And when nice. I assure you, he's gonna be in. These will be the greatest waffles you have ever had in your entire life. Not only mine on the heater of all heaters, but now it's my waffle game of the year for you guys in a couple of weeks. Now, why are your waffles so much, or your grandmother's waffles so much better than, let's just say, IHOP's waffles? Because there's a special ingredient that I put in it that after it's all said and done and I'm walking out of your studio from a morning of cooking, I will let you know what that special ingredient is. And then when you hear it, you'll go, no way. And listen, (laughs) I've cooked these things for 25 years for people, and they literally tell me they're the greatest thing they've ever had. So It's It's not not something that comes out of your body, is it? (laughs) No, would you stop for crying out loud? Right. Hey, you never so, know what a secret ingredient might be, Valdez. What, what, what I love you, about, have, you have to check on these things. What the I love long. about Brandon Lang, and I've missed this, is that he's always humble. Yes, yes he is. Humble pie. Always. Well, you're, well you're, listen, you're, when you have a target on my chest like I do, and you never get credit when you do win. I know. You just get bashed for when you lose. <laughs> yep. you got to really take advantage of a heater like this just yeah. to slap around the idiots that, that want to <laughs> preach that I never win. This has gone on for two months now where I've, I've delivered. And listen, it's not the fact that I'm hitting like, you know, my third straight 150 dime winner in college on Saturday. is isn't just a 14 point road favorite or 14 point home favorite for three straight weeks. I've, I've my biggest play of the year. I've given you Texas at home. Plus three beats West Virginia by 16. The next week is Georgia tech at home. Plus three wins by 22 over Clemson. And last week it's Arkansas plus three that beats Ole Miss 30 nothing. So it's not like you can say, well, those are lucky calls. And let me get, you've got another one this week. Oh God. Yeah. (laughs) I'm about to ride this eater. No. You're and then the NFL on and then the NFL on Sunday, I'm going for a ninth straight hundred dime winner. So it's not like, you know, again, it's it's just it's a nice rhythm. You know, Kimmy Kimmy's turned the vowel on the last few weeks. Guys, good, good, good for you. All right, real quick before we get to the games. <laughs> yep. You're coming to DC in a couple weeks. You haven't been to DC in a while unless you just came and went and didn't tell us. What no. are you in town for? Yeah, if I ever set foot across the border, um I, I, I would let you guys know. So um, we actually have a huge business meeting in, in Washington, D.C., me and my boy Putin, um, Wednesday day. So meeting with some some pretty important people. So we're actually doing that Wednesday day, and then Steve and I are going to come in on Thursday morning. I'm going to cook you guys waffles and, and make it a day, so it'll be a lot of fun. Nice, cool. Brandon. Now, not that this is your 100-dimer, one of your biggest plays, but here in D.C., of course, the big news is Colt McCoy has replaced RG3 as the starter. I think the Colts are about a 10-point favorite in the game. How do you see that playing out with Colt McCoy now as the starter? Listen, they were getting that same kind of number at Dallas, and they won the game outright. And, and again, I, I love what I saw from him against the Cowboys. And, and I've said this for a couple of weeks. Yeah, Indy won last week and, and got the job done over Jacksonville. But that defense can be taken advantage of. I mean, how soon we forget that Roethlisberger threw for six touchdowns on him and Brady lit him up on Sunday night. So don't let the Jacksonville win fool you. They, they showed me something last week at San Francisco, and so I will gladly take Washington plus the points because I think offensively, play the game over the posted total, but I think offensively they're going to be able to move the football, and they'll cover that number. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty that, – that will never be my, my big play on Sunday, but I like them plus the double digits. All right, so you've got three games tomorrow. Chicago, Detroit, that's 7-47. and 47. Dallas, Philly is 3-54. and 54. And Seattle, big one uh, tomorrow night. Seattle, San Francisco, it's a pick, 40. Um, any leans on any of these three? Philly, Dallas, over. I don't know how that game's going to stay under. I, I think they light it up. Mm-hmm. And – I think Frisco's just not that good a football team. I, I think as much as I've bashed 
Seattle and made money going against them this year. I think that one number is a trap line. I think the whole world's going to kind of jump on that that San Francisco laying that kind of number. But Seattle's covered four of the last five against them with the four straight against them with the push. So I think Seattle figures out a way to get it done plus the one. All right. Anything on Sunday that jumps out at you? Um, God, yeah. Um, I think Atlanta's garbage. Oh, no, they are you garbage. That, You're not the yeah, only one who thinks that. I think it's that. <laughs> I think the three number with Arizona. You, you grab it now because I think it's going to move. Um, they're just a better football team, and, and everybody's kind of off them because of the 19-3 loss Sunday. But that game was a lot closer than 19-3 would lead you believe. They just made a couple of big mistakes on offense. So uh, I didn't use Arizona as my big play. I got off them and got on the Rams, and they were good to me on Sunday. But I'm back on Arizona this week. I think it's a great value number. I'll buy it down to two and a half, which I've already done. And Arizona over Atlanta I like a lot. New England Green Bay might be 109 winner number nine in a row. Um, still finalizing a couple things. I knew I, I said I would never uh, go big on a game involving Brady and Belichick again. Um, with or against, um, but I think there's some value in that game. But, oh, but yeah, I do Rogers at home, <laughs> Rogers at home is unbelievable. He doesn't throw any interceptions. His touchdown total is great, and the Packers in general at home against out of conference teams are unbelievable. Right, but here's my here's my theory on that. And, and again, um, I'll give you my lean right now, which 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 is New England. Hmm. Green Bay's been doing it. Great. I mean, granted, Geno Smith beat him. Christian Ponder beat him. Cam Newton, horrible offensive line, beat him. Jay Cutler twice beat him. Sanchez took advantage. But here's my question to you guys. How bad are the New Orleans Saints right now? Not well, very good. Well, they're four and seven. I mean, they are they are atrocious. And you've watched them the last three weeks when the Niners beat them. And then you watch them and uh, Monday night when the Ravens beat them. And, and you look at them and go, this team sucked. And yet, as good as Green Bay has been and as good as Green Bay has looked, they went into New Orleans and didn't just lose. They got punked 44 <laughs> 23. So, before I start anointing this team as the greatest thing, Green Bay can't stop the run. New England's going to run it down their throat. Brady's going to get in play action, and everybody's going to jump on this Green Bay bandwagon. And Belichick and Brady are going to go in there, and they are going to torch this defense much the way Drew Brees in New Orleans did for 44 points. And I don't know about you, but when you start to dissect New England, I mean, you put up a 50 spot against the Bears like it was nothing. You put up a 43 spot on Denver like it was nothing. You put up a 42 spot on Indy like it was nothing. And then you take the number one defense in the NFL and you beat them 34-9. So it's not like the last three weeks they haven't played anybody. 50, you know, 40 against Denver, 40 against Indy, 34 against Detroit. You give me, I'll buy the half point, take New England plus three and a half all day long. It's Brandon Lang. Go to BrandonLang.com for all his vinners. Do you still have the free uh, all-access pass? Yeah, and then my daily video today, I do a rant on RG3, which is pretty funny. So I think nice. uh, if you want to right, well, be entertained, go watch my daily video today. And uh, Yeah, so we're looking for another big week. All right, Very so nice. we'll see you on December 9th, correct? Yeah, and if you guys want to do dinner Wednesday night, let me know. We'll do the same thing as, as we did before. We'll go someplace nice. Now, we've never met Steve Boone, right? No, so that that'll be fun. Is he he's, picking up uh, the check? Of course, he's picking. <laughs> yeah, we're we're minnows over here. We're not big fish if, like if you guys. If he's picking up the check, I'm in. <laughs> Listen, anytime I roll into your guys' town with a chance to break bread with my boys, of course we're picking up the check. Uh, right. I think that's the opposite I of what know. it should be, but yeah. that's fine. Right. Right. Usually, <laughs> usually the host pick it up. All right, Hold Brandon. On. Not only do you get dinner, but you get waffles on on Thursday. I mean, that's a great. Uh, there you go. I'm, I, I can't wait. I like it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Right. We'll see you Great next week. Guys. All so right, buddy, you Brandon pal. Lang. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Everybody have a <clears throat> safe and happy Thanksgiving. EB, you're heading to New Jersey. Yeah. It's what, all what's good. it look like outside? A little snow? It's raining. What are you ah, about? please. I told you. I told everybody it's too warm to snow. <laughs> Bunch of weather wimps out here. <laughs> it's raining. It's snowing west. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Well, north. You're going north. I bet you're snowing up north. Yeah, too. I got a truck. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. Do you guys want to wish uh, Bruce happy Thanksgiving? Oh, sure. You want to do that? Very I wonder quickly. what he's going to eat for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, got me teed up for that one, JP. Bruce. Good morning, Junkie. Hey, hey, Bruce. <laughs> What's up, man? Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Th- happy Thanksgiving. Do you have hey, an Bruce? announcement? Yeah. Go ahead. No. Uh, uh, well, I, I have, oh, you oh. actually don't have one. Boy, do you no, have... I, he, he didn't prepare me. He didn't oh, prepare, he didn't prepare you. you. <laughs> well, I have a question. What are you going to eat for Thanksgiving dinner? I don't know what we're doing yet. 
Well, you don't I mean, know what you're going to eat? You're probably going to have a traditional meal, right? I think so. Which, What's uh, your favorite? To, the, the turkey. I like the stuffing. <laughs> oh, you like the stuffing? <laughs> Who doesn't? I like yeah. That's amazing. Too. Do you guys do, like, sweet potatoes with the marshmallows? Do you do that, too? No. <laughs> I, like, I like plain. Are you pro or con on green bean casserole? I... Uh, I'm pro. Pro! pro yes. <laughs> nice! I love having him on my side. Hey, hey, Bruce, we love you, buddy. Have a great, great okay. Thanksgiving. Did you get my card? Yeah, Bruce, I got your card in the Turkey. mail. <coughs> Thank I you very much. Lurch. Yeah, Lurch yes. got his, too. Got Thank my, you very much. My brother died on me. What? He died? Yeah. His brother yeah, passed died. away. Our, our, our oh, yeah. I didn't know. Our prayers are with not, you. Not, no, not Robert. He's in Florida. Another got brother. You. Another brother. Yeah, I'm another sorry to brother. hear that. Sorry to hear that, Bruce. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. Have, right. have a great have a great Thanksgiving, okay, pal? Okay. When am I coming to the studio again? I don't know. We got to talk to uh, CK. Yeah. <laughs> 2019. Bruce, 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 not what, Bruce for a while. what are you thankful for? I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for my health. Oh, yeah, me too. Very good. For your yeah. health. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I'm living. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a big We're one for me. We're all thankful for that, Bruce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I we would... love you, buddy. We got to let you go. Okay, Lurch. See you, okay. buddy. See you, man. He loves Bye. Lurch. Okay. Is that the mandate? Like, we can't have him in studio again? <laughs> yeah, people are worried about that. I'd like Chris, Christmas carols from Bruce. I like it, too, that. but people are so no, nervous now. It's a different era, JP. Different climate. Different climate we're all working in these days. Yeah. All right, remember, watching Game Day Uncensored from the bracket room on Sunday at 11 o'clock. Hope you can... Make it out there to Arlington for Lurch Cake. CB, I'm JP with the Junkies. Happy Thanksgiving. Grand Dan, you're up next Turkey. on The Fan. Listen to 106.7 The Fan on your smartphone by downloading the Radio.com app now at the iTunes and Google Play stores.